In the small coastal town of Esperance, a unique building houses a unique collection. Welcome to Auntie Joan's Dolly Mix. Helen Rain spent five years bringing the museum to life. It houses about 800 porcelain dolls collected by Helen's mother, Joan Hazel Stewart. My mother collected porcelain dolls and um, it was sort of an obsession of hers for about 30 years and by the time she was leading up to the final years of her life we came up with the idea of donating them to Esperance and we couldn't find anyone that was interested and we had this block of land so we thought why don't we build our own not-for-profit charitable doll museum. Before they were moved to the museum, all 1,000 dolls lived with Auntie Joan and her husband, Duncan Stewart. When they were still living out of town, the cabinets were all through the house and then they moved into town and my father put his foot down and said they can only go in one room. Uh, but they did spill out a little bit, obviously, because there's so many of them, but they were completely crammed in. You couldn't actually make out what they were wearing or who some of them were. We've edited these heavily so that you can actually see what you're looking at and there's still hundreds at the house. Joan and Duncan were married for 56 years. She was lovely. She suited me. She never smoked, she never drank, and as I say, she only ever went out with one bad man, and that was me. <laughs> he says her doll obsession started on a trip to America. The first time we went, uh, she bought three dolls. A couple of days later, I said, what are you carrying now? I said, some dolls. She saw, said, I saw some that I couldn't refused to buy. She bought two more and I said, well, you can bloody well carry them. Auntie Joan was also known for her charity work. The museum is continuing that tradition. And we're not going to charge for people to come and look at the dolls. It's going to be a, a donation only. But anything that we do make above our operating costs is going to go into our charity. Betty Keetle was friends with Joan for 40 years. They met volunteering for Meals on Wheels. When I walked in, I couldn't help but cry to see how beautiful it looked. She was a woman that was very generous, very understanding. She well deserves this. Auntie Joan's family agree she'd be pretty pleased herself. She'd look down from heaven and say, spot on. She would be absolutely thrilled. The museum is expected to be open to the public in the coming months. Madison Snow, ABC News, Esperance.